So now that we have a DHCP server, let's go further and create an um, email server. So I'm not going to turn off the DHCP, we're just going to use the email server on top of the DHCP. So the computer is going to have, going to use the DHCP to automatically get IP address. So here on email, make sure that SMTP service and POP3 service is on. And uh, if they're off, turn it on. So the first thing is that we need to give it a domain name. So the domain name of uh, here is completely uh, on your own. So for example, uh, the domain name can be gmail.com or yahoo.com. Set anything that you like. I want to set gmail.com. This is a custom domain, but let's use gmail.com for this tutorial. Then click on set. So make sure to click on set. Otherwise, you will get an error when you want to send emails. Then we need to create some users. So let's create a user called DGDF with a password of 123. Add it. Now the user has been added. Let's cre create another user called Ali123. Oh, Ali and the password going to be 123. Add it as well. Okay, now we have two users that we can go log in into the computers now. So go to the first computer, desktop. We have an email section. Let's open it up. And here we need to set uh, some configuration. So your name going to be the name of the Gmail, which is Ali. The email address going to be Ali at sign gmail.com incoming mail server so the IP address of the server that we have set in the previous video which was 192.168.1.1 and the outgoing uh, we, for incoming and outgoing we, we are using one server so just copy the IP address uh, of incoming mail server so the username and password is the username and password we set in the mail server, which was Ali and one, two, three. Save it. Now we are logged in. So uh, keep that in mind. If you set any false information or uh, your information uh, is not right, it will not give you any error. So um make sure to set them right so if you're not getting any emails or your emails not being sent it's it might be because uh, the information that you input you set here is wrong so keep that in mind okay for second computer let's log in to the other email okay let's open up email the name was dg dev all right email address will be dg dev at sign gmail.com the incoming server and outgoing server and username and password save here we are now let's send an email to the uh, Ali so for sending email just click on compose to Ali at sign gmail.com the subject is test and the description going to be test as well let's send it okay it has been sent and uh, now for uh, seeing the email that I've, we have sent it let's go back to the pc0 
go to the emails and receive we need to click on receive so you can see in this uh, date the DigiDev has sent us an email and if we open it you can see here the subject the email that has sent it this email and the text all right so that's it that's how mail servers work and uh, as always you can f uh, find the project files in the description and make sure to like and subscribe so help me and the channel grow more thank you bye bye